Welcome back everyone. Now we are going to learn about the amines. This is the concept of the organic chemistry and we are going to enter in the world of chemicals. So welcome everyone in the world of chemistry. So in the amines we are going to see the first few basics after that we are going to proceed as usual. So let's start with the basics first. So first point is Amines, as I already told you, is an organic compound. It is made up of nitrogen and hydrogen. The combination of amine is basically nitrogen and hydrogen. So these are the components we are having. And when you remove hydrogen from ammonia, that will give you the degrees that we are going to come up in just a while. Okay, so we have studied this point. Now, why it is used and why it is being made? It is made because we can make the polymers, dyes, drugs, medicines. Uh, you might have heard of the Benadryl, Novalac and all the such things that we can make out of the ammonia. So it's very, very, very useful in medicinal industries, dentistry and in other fertilizer industries. Okay, so now let's see some examples of ammonia. So the examples are NH3, which is ammonia itself. When you remove one hydrogen, two hydrogen, and three hydrogen, so we have we are calling it amines. So these are about the degrees that we are going to talk in a while. Uh, for now, it's just the example. Now it is sp3 hybridized. So it is having sp3 hybridization, and now we can learn the next level of it. So as we are talking about the ammonia and amine, so the structure of amine consists of nitrogen as a key component and the shape is geometric as actually pyramidal shape. As the pyramid of Giza you might have heard and maybe you might have seen that. So I have made a rough structure here so that you can learn from this place. Now let's see something that what actually happens so we're going to learn the degree so we have nh3 technically book do not name it but let's name for our sake this is zero degree this is zero degree ammonia that's our discovery in this thought and now we are going to change the color so r n h Two, and this is one degree and R R dash N H this will going to be the second degree two degree and R R dash R double dash N this will going to be our third degree. So let's see how they actually look like. So for example, NS3 is simply seems like this. These are the place for the hydrogen here. And now it's time for the one degree. So one degree becomes something like this. N and we have CH3 here and H and H. So this is how it gonna look like. Now let's focus on the two degree, which is nitrogen, CH3, CH3 and H. So one hydrogen and CH3. Or oh, you may change it, but uh, let's keep it CH3 for now. You can change that CH3 also. You can make any amount of the carbon here carbon and carbon will make their own chain out of it so now for the third degree we can go something like this nitrogen and all the three ways are cs3 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 so this is something that we are going to learn and this is what we have seen in our work so this is these are the things that we have learned. This is zero degree, this is first degree, this is second degree, and this is third degree. And surely this degree is not about the temperature. This is about the removing of the hydrogen that we are naming it degree. 
so we are categorizing it and it will going to vary its property reaction and ability to react physical and chemical properties so this is very important to learn and in the next level we are going to explore more about the ammonia so stick with me stay tuned god bless